In this video, I will go over 13 niches in trades. Today, I'm gonna break down 13 niches. I'm gonna explain how those smaller niches fit for the roofing business. If I see a lot of guys offering decks, offering fences, offering siding, offering gutters, and some companies are not doing it at all. But first, I wanna introduce you to one of the best books I ever read on this topic, Ellen Lottery's War in the Boardroom. I'm gonna put a link below, you can buy it on Amazon. Absolutely amazing book. You're always gonna have this dilemma. You're gonna have problem between marketing and management teams because marketing always wanna do less and management will always wanna offer more. The moment your company start being successful in something, your management gonna push you as an owner and push your marketing team to offer more services. A lot of times it's a mistake. Sometimes less is more. If you're all service to all people, it's just recipe for disaster and you can go broke by trying pleasing too many people. First, I have actually roofing. And roofing is not general roofing. You have a lot of specialty subcategories in the roofing itself. There's commercial roofing, there's specialty roofing, you can be a metal roofing contractor, you can be clay roofing contractor. So for me, niche is actually much in the roofing, it's niche within the niche. I firmly believe you can be extremely successful if you identify yourself with one brand. You can be expert of Da Vinci or rubber shingles or metal or, you know, Atco or F-Wave or Tesla roof. So you can actually find a smaller niche within the niche. You can be standing seam guy in your area and be number one and be very busy with it. As a niche roofing, it's definitely fit for roofing business. So I'm giving it five, you know, demand for specialty contractors and the roofing is huge, definitely five. So you can be specialist within a specialist. So in reality, if you're good at something, you always will be busy. So less is more. If you're a true professional, true expert in one area, you will be busy probably for the rest of your life. The roofing has huge earning potential, five there. It is competitive. I'm giving it three. People tell me all the time, Dimitri, Colorado is busy. Chicago is busy. There's too many contractors. It's competitive here. Dallas is competitive. All markets are competitive because it's a good niche. There's good earning potential. Roofers move a lot across the country as well. And if it was good pocket 10 years ago, today is probably going to have some competition. Separate business opportunity number one. What is separate business opportunity on my chart? It's your opportunity to create a DBA. For example, a roof max, roofing cleaning service, is a separate entity where you go in and buy a franchise like roof cleaning. So that's a niche that you want to dominate with a different service, but you actually can run it as a separate separate business opportunity. Yes, you can be any roofing company name, but on the side, you also can be Roof Max or Ugly Roof or something like that. You can have mini franchise. So it's niche within a niche. Overall rating for roofing as a niche is 4.6. Next one is siding. I don't believe that a roofing company should offer siding. Now, I might take it back. Like I actually have seen a lot of contractors who are very successful with the siding. Most though, I would say 80, 90% cannot figure it out. And siding is just destruction from what you're actually good at. If you're in Northern climate, you might be doing siding just to keep your guys busy through the winter because in most climates, you can actually work in the winter months. So I can understand it. I actually have done it, but as a businessman, I absolutely hate siding and roofing together. So I'm given fit for roofing business five. It makes sense. A lot of roofing companies are doing it. Demand is huge. There's huge demand for siding installers. Earning potential is three. Siding jobs is not as profitable as roofing or gutters or other trades. So compared to other trades, it's only three. Competition. It's pretty fierce, but not as bad as roofing, separate business opportunity. I would say too, yes, you can be a siding company. I wouldn't recommend it. It's kind of saturated. Every market has a couple good siding companies. I'm not a fan of that business. You can definitely brand yourself as a siding company in the area, but I don't see the need for more siding brands per se. Overall, 3.84 siding on my little chart here. Dimitri's score is number one. Next one is gutter 
gutters. I absolutely love gutters, everything about gutters. I think gutters is the most underrated category for earning potential, for business potential. I don't understand why more contractors are not opening gutter businesses. I firmly believe that gutter is one of the most profitable, the easiest business, the simplest business. You don't need a lot of investment. It's very easy to brand and stand out. So gutters, get five for fit for roofing business, five for demand, five for earning potential, five for competition, because even your competition will hire you. Nobody wants to do gutters, Nobody, not many people can figure it out, but separate business opportunity, absolutely. You can definitely open another DBA or franchise or another shop just doing gutters and it'll actually feed you with a lot of roofing leads as well. Overall rating here is five, my score is five. Next one is gutter covers, very similar to gutters, but even better, earning potential, need is huge, fit for roofing business, obviously five, it's easy upsell. I look at the gutters, gutter covers, and as nice add-on to your roofing job, you can make more money and more profit margins on those add-ons than on actually original roofing job. Earning potential is five, competition is four, Competition in gutter covers is fierce. You have national players like leaf filter, gutter gloves, so your pay-per-click is super expensive. But I still believe that you can stand out. We partner up with Leaf Solution, one of the best brands on the market. You definitely have separate business opportunities. It's easier to brand gutter cover companies. Smaller niche than gutters, but I do see it as a business opportunity. Overall score for gutter covers is 4.8. Dimitri's score is 5. Next one, I have windows. Not a big fan of windows, but fit for roofing business, I put three. I don't want you to be inside the house. If you're an exterior contractor, if you work on the outside of the home, window will literally get you in. Homeowners have to be home. You have to move furniture, completely different dynamics. So three for the fit. Demand obviously there, and demand is there for everything these days. Earning potential is huge, five. Competition, I put three because competition is fierce. There's a lot of window companies and you know, uh, Renewal by Anderson and huge brands. It'll be hard for you to compete with them. If you're a roofing company, you're gonna be competing with the big players who just specialize in windows and they're probably gonna cross you most of the time. Separate business opportunity, I put three. I don't see roofing companies opening side business for windows. It's a hard business to be in. It's hard to franchise, it's hard to branch off, it's hard to build the window company. So three on that rating. And overall for windows, we have 3.8. Next one is fences. If I would move to Arizona tomorrow and I would have to start brand new and if I see huge demand and need for fence contractors, I love everything about it. You're outside, you're digging holes. I mean, if you're the contractors, it's just plain simple business. I love fence business. I think for the fit, is three because perception is just not there. When people call a roofing company, they don't expect this roofing company to do fences. It's kind of completely different category. Now, nothing stops you to open a business. If you already have a shop, if you already have employees, if you already know the business, you can definitely open a fence company and be successful in it. Fences for me get five on demand, five on earning potential, four on competition. You do have quite a few players in the market. You have separate business opportunities, awesome. Overall, 4.4. Five on Dimitri's score. Dex is very controversial. As a matter of fact, I recently visited a couple companies. Acme Roofing is one of them. They're amazing. One of the best videos we actually filmed for a student was Dex by Acme, but they know what they're doing. They've been doing Dex for 20 years. They also have one company, Trax. They're certified with them. They found the niche within the niche. They're not offering 500 options to the homeowner. They come in as a Trax specialist. They build beautiful decks and are recommended for them. And the reason you will be wasting your time if this is not your niche and you don't understand it, yes, you will get calls. Yes, homeowners will ask you, do you do that? But if you don't know what you're doing, you will be giving them way too many options. You will be wasting way too much of your time going back and forth, figuring it out by yourself. Now, if your goal is sell 100 decks per year, kudos to you, go after it. But if you're not deck contractor, if you don't understand deck business, don't offer it, don't add it. When people call you, do you do decks? No, I don't. Leave it for the deck companies, leave it for the professionals. Number three as a fit for roofing business. It doesn't fit really well unless you're really good at it. Demand, obviously five. Earning potential, five. There's a lot of money in the decks. Competition, pretty fierce, five. Separate business opportunity, five. It's amazing business opportunity, but don't try to mix it within your roofing business because that's a good way to get distracted 
from what are you actually good at and lose money at the end of the day. So DEX overall 4.6, the Misha score of number five. Next one is installation, one of the most underrated services in construction. I absolutely love installation. People are gonna do business with you for two reasons. One is because they want something and another one because they need something. If you need something, but you must have it, you're gonna buy it. Even if you don't want it, you're still gonna buy it. Installation is one of those. I'm in Minneapolis. If I go and look at someone's attic, I'm like, man, how much is your electric bill or gas bill? How much is your HVC running per day? You know, people wants to save money. So if your bill is two, three hundred dollars a month because your installation is four inches, you have to add it. And as a roofing contractor, installation is the best fit. You cannot convince me that you're a good roofing contractor if you don't know your installation game. So installation as a category is definitely best fit for roofing business five. Demand is huge. Earning potential is amazing. Your profit margins will be great. Competition is pretty fierce. You will be competing with the installation companies. Separate business opportunity, absolutely, number five. As a matter of fact, I worked for installation company before for about four months, full time, every day. I love the business and it's not hard. You get a warehouse, you stock it with all materials, buy a few machines, you're in business. Installation is great, 4.6 total, five on Demetrius score. I love installation. Next one is solar. Obviously solar is the trendiest one. We have Tesla, we have all these new players, we have new technology coming up. Obviously it's one of the best fits, but you also have to go through training. You have to educate yourself. You have to separate yourself. So solar here will get five in every category. Obviously it's good for the business. Demand is huge, earning potential competition is not as bad. It's overall five and Demetrius score is five. Framing is a tricky one. I don't think it's really good fit. I think framing is one of those services that are good to have, hard to find, great opportunity. If you're someone who's looking to get in the business, any construction business, framing is where it's at. You have a huge demand, you have huge earning potential. I don't know about opening separate business. You definitely can do it and maybe even do B2B to other contractors. I don't like framing as a business. Usually framers are working for remodelers, for contractors, and I'm just not a fan. So overall framing is 4.2. My score still gets five. Uh, next one is floors. Um, fit for roofing business number one. I see a lot of guys doing floors, a lot of roofing contractors doing it. For me, if you're a roofing contractor, stay outside. Demand is huge, earning potential is huge. When I was installing floors, on average, I would make five, 600 bucks a day. In this economy, you can make thousand dollars a day. Huge, huge earning potential, guys. Not a lot of competition, not a lot of guys are doing it anymore. Separate business opportunity, you can definitely open the flooring business if you're running a roofing business, but do that. Like, don't try to mix it together, they don't mix. Overall, for floors, 4.2, Dimitri score is number five. I wanna ask you, pause it, give it a like. If you like this kind of content, guys, there's so much noise out there on YouTube and the internet. If you like content on this channel, I need your support. Every time you like the video, every time you comment something or you engage with us, it truly helps. YouTube algorithm sees it. So give it a like, let's go back and finish this video. Next category, painting. I'm not a big fan again because it's inside. Not that I hate it, but inside trades, you need to understand that it's completely different dynamic. People are way picker you have to deal with the furniture you have to deal with the protection dock system plus you're sending your employees inside someone's houses painting gets three for fit the roofing business painting and roofing don't really go together demand obviously is huge earning potential three you can make good money as a painter but that's not where money at if you're a real good painter obviously you'll be making money as far as earning potential goes that's not the greatest competition is okay there, there's more painting jobs than painters. Separate business opportunity, I give it to you. I don't see huge need for painting companies. You can definitely start one, but because there's not a lot of earning potential, the competition, there's quite a few players already on the market. I don't see it as a huge separate business opportunity. So overall for painting, I give it 3.6. Demetrius score, sorry painters, gets number one. The last category also who gets five across the board is roof cleaning. I absolutely lot for roof cleaning it's definitely fit for roofing business demand is there earning potential is there competition is very low separate business opportunity absolutely look at the roof max you've seen on this channel we already review few products in the past so 
Roof cleaning, it's thinking big. Some people need to buy time. When you clean that roof, when you repair and service instead of replace, you give the homeowner extra five years, you're saving them $10,000, $15,000. They don't have to spend money today, they can wait a little bit. I think this is huge opportunity for separate business idea as well. I've seen a lot of companies, they have a roofing business here that do replacements, repairs, but they also clean. So cleaning is huge and gets five on Dimitri's score. But here's the lessons from today. Number one is less is more, directly from this book. The less services you do, the more successful you're gonna be. Find your niche and dominate it. Dominate something that you already started, become good at it before picking up next niche. Perfect your process. Do maybe three, four million dollars of roofing before you start doing decks. I promise you, if you are a three million dollar company doing one service, you'll be way more profitable than a three million dollar company doing 20. And number three, when you're deciding to offer another service. Think about not only earning potential, but think about how it's gonna complement what you already do. First, think about maybe installation, maybe gutters, something that's touching and makes sense for your homeowners. Become that McDonald's. When you're hungry and you go for that burger, fries and soda make sense. When you sell a roof, gutter cover and gutter and installation make sense. Not the fans, not the drywall, not the painting. You get the idea. So those are my tips. Give it a like if you like it. Comment below any questions. Check out this book, War in the Boardroom. My number and my cell number also gonna be below. I read all my comments and I reply. Thank you guys for coming. I'll see you guys in the next video.